Hey, it's Ryan with America's Best Restaurants. We're traveling the country coast to coast to find the best places that you need to dine at on a regular basis. Today, we're in Bozeman, Montana. We've got Scott and Nicole from Stormcastle Cafe. Guys, thanks so much for having us. Thank so you for being here. Tell us about your restaurant. So, uh, we were just a small cafe. Uh, we wanted to create a space where a neighborhood restaurant where our customers felt comfortable, they had good service, and uh, could uh, get the best food around. Um, we have our own farm, so they're definitely getting local products um, that are unique to the restaurant only. Nice. And um, just a place where people could gather, have dynamite food and uh, friendly atmosphere. Love it, love the concept. And I mean, you know, you guys have a lot of, you know, really high uh, five-star reviews and things like that. High, you know, come highly recommended um, from all over the place. Uh, but what do you feel like are some of those items on the menu that you think that you know, hey, this is what we're famous for. <laughs> I always struggle with that because they're all super special to me. <laughs> okay. Um, but once again, any of the items on the menu that are featuring a product from the farm, mm -hmm. I like to point that out to people. It's uh, Hilltop 7 Farm. It's a, our small family farm where we're raising um, beef and pork. And, um, but, you know, we have several items named after people on the menu, so they're all kind of near and dear to our heart. And uh -huh. um, large portions, rich flavors. Very cool. I'll let the chef carry on from there, but. <laughs> all right, Scott, what do you think? What, what's your favorite thing to, to make for, for folks? I don't really have a particular favorite. Um, we started this restaurant because this area has changed a lot in the last few years and things like that. So we just mm -hmm. wanted to kind of create a throwback. Um, my background and things like that is pretty variety and things. So mm -hmm. uh, I would consider what we do really pretty much like if you had a uh, really good cook and you were on a, like a cattle drive, like that's what we do here. So, <laughs> you know, we raise the product. I was lucky enough to grow up on a farm here in Bozeman and things like that. So mm -hmm. we raise Red Angus. Um, I would say any of our dishes that you know kind of come from the farm are kind of our unique niche that we have to offer. It's not better than anybody else's, but it's ours. So yeah, it kind of creates a unique experience that way. It's uniquely yours in this place. You know, uniquely decorated, <laughs> unique folks, uh, great yeah. service, and so the one and only. Yeah, let's cook some food. <laughs> let's, do it. let's eat some food. Let's have a good time. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's do it. All right, hey guys, uh, Stormcastle Cafe, Scott and Nicole, you guys, oh my goodness. I mean, th this might be one of the most unique places I think I've seen um, anywhere in the United States in our travels. And um, I know Scott, I mean, you've had the opportunity to, uh, to cook in a lot of different places, um, but from Montana and then came back here. Can you tell us a little bit of that background? Well, I'll say this is that I was like 15 years old and this is a true story. And, uh, my dad came to me and he's like, Hey, you know, you're 15, you can get a job, you know, you're old enough and all that. And so being 15, I didn't find a job. So I make this in kind of light. It wasn't necessarily on my birthday, but, uh, he comes to me on my birthday. He's like, guess what I got you for your birthday present. And I was like, what? He's like a dishwashing job at Frederick's ice cream parlor. So that's kind of where it started at. And uh, I started doing dishes when I was in high school and just kind of worked my way up. And I worked at a restaurant um, where the owner said to further my career, I needed to go to culinary school and broaden my horizons and get out of Bozeman. So that's what I did. And I sort of 
took that time to travel around and experience as much as I could, always with the intention of coming back to Bozeman to open mm. a restaurant on my own. Um, in the meantime, I was a chef at numerous establishments in the area, Big Sky, Bozeman, Belgrade. Um, when my wife and I started a family and I decided that my priority kind of laid with spending some time with my kids and we opened up uh, Storm Castle Cafe. There you go. Well, and, and thanks for sharing that story, Scott. And I, we, we got to bring in some of the, the also the stars of the show <laughs> from the backside. So this is John, Will. Good job, guys. Thank you. Hey, thank they you need some much. camera time because they're making a lot of magic happen uh, in, in the background, especially in you know a time like this as we're shooting this in uh, you know late 2021 and uh, you know restaurants and and things that are going on with uh, you know struggling to to get good people in to to work. So thank you for, for everything that you're doing. Um, so and I know each dish has a story. Uh, so I kind of want to dive into a couple of these uh, that are uh, near and dear to you guys. Um, I mean, we can start wherever you'd like to start. Well, we might as well start in the beginning. Okay. Um, oh, drinks. <laughs> this is our Michelada. What? And uh, so it's kind of our signature drink that we have here the, made with beer. And we kind of spice up the tomato sauce and all that. Okay. Um, then this is our mocha milkshake. That's one of Nicole's inventions. So it's got like an Irish cream, um, mm. coffee ice cream blended up like a milkshake and things like that. Um, in terms of the food, one of the things that we did when we started our restaurant was uh, Nicole comes from kind of a Hispanic background and uh, tradition is that on Christmas Eve, we always have enchiladas. And so mm. one year, just not knowing what to make for breakfast Christmas morning, we we're like, well, let's throw enchiladas in the oven and put a couple of eggs on it and call it good. So it was delicious. When we opened up our restaurant, that was going to be one of our signature items. Um, I would happen to say that if I was to go to prison or something like that and never get to eat here again, this would be my last meal. This exact meal, enchiladas with sausage patties and eggs and things like that. It holds some kind of nostalgia in my heart because when my wife and I originally started on Sundays, when we'd finish the hard day, we'd split it. Mm. And that'd be kind of one of our meals. We'd eat it on the ice machine back in the back. And anyways, and then this dish is called our Buzz Lutz. It's Buzz uh, Lutz. Yeah, it's an homage to the man Buzz Lutz who I worked for in the 90s, so 30 years ago, 25 years ago, whatnot. Um, he actually called it the fry pie on his menu. And uh, it was kind of his nemesis. He had a really hard time with it. So when we opened our restaurant, he's probably one of my idols. You know, he was 86 years mm -hmm. old, you know, Coke bottle glasses. He'd been a um, machine gunner and a bomber in World War II, sheriff of wow. Browning, things like that. So just an awesome man. So. I had to kind of pay homage to him. And so this is our dish that kind of pays tribute to Buzz Lutz. Um, this is our Vaquero. There used to be a place in Bozeman called Sobeys years ago, anyways. And they had this awesome burrito that was a wet burrito with a kind of like a green chili sauce mm. on it. So this is kind of our interpretation of it. Um, the filling is a chorizo, which we make homemade here. Um, we use our, a lot of our own products from the farm. So we have a Hilltop 7 farm that I grew up on. Um, where we raise red Angus beef and mm. pork. So this is one of the products. And we try to utilize that kind of wherever we can. The sausages, are our own pork products. Mm. Um, this is our chorizo. Sometimes it's made from beef or pork. Okay. Um, anyways, and then this is our Storm Castle burger. Oh man, that's um, that is intense. Someday down the line, my dream is, is to have a number of hamburger joints. But <laughs> okay. this is kind of our signature Storm Castle, the behemoth. Wow. We have a number of burgers, but it's our own ground beef that we... Uh, um, produce. So it's two patties. It's kind of like our double bacon um, cheeseburger with two fried eggs. So it's four strips of bacon, wow. two patties, two fried eggs on top, fries and things like that. Um, that's the big daddy. And then in front the of big you, daddy. yeah, we're kind of proud of it. But um, so from our pork, we make Canadian bacon. We cure it for about 10 days oh. and then we smoke it. And then we serve it with our house made hollandaise, two basted eggs and hash browns kind of like our signature dish on Sundays. Mm. Um, it's kind of become tradition. So a lot of people look for that and things like that. So that's kind of a rundown on these dishes in particular. Wow. Brought your appetite, right? Right, right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We're going to have to get John, John Will back in here to help. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, chow down on this. My goodness. And our philosophy for me anyways, as a chef, especially in this medium is, you know, I just want it to be exactly like how I'd like to eat it. So if yeah. If I was served a breakfast burrito, this is a burrito that I'd like, you know, mm -hmm. and burger and things of that nature. So 
That's very cool. So let all of our viewers know where they can find out more about you guys and your restaurant, how they can find you. Uh, stormcastlecafe.com. <laughs> well, that was easy. <laughs> uh, you know, all the other social media outlets, Facebook, Instagram, but uh, stormcastlecafe.com. Very cool. <laughs> and now their full pro profile right here on americasbestrestaurants.com as well. Add that to the list, all right? right? All right. So you guys, um, thanks for having us. You know, this is a, a really cool place here in Bozeman. And if you are enjoying watching these episodes, uh, just make sure to subscribe and follow us so we can share more awesome locally owned and operated restaurants like Storm Castle Cafe with you. So let's dive in, guys. Grab your forks. Let's go. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later.